Good day, good day, good day, bro. Welcome. Uh, we're going to start with, I noticed C3 is already moving. So I'm just going to roughly explain it and uh, what I'm seeing. So from this peak here, uh, this was the last order block. And this price was going sideways, we created another minor peak here within this range. So an early entry would have been here. And we could have waited for a potential retest, but this one just continued dropping all the way until they retested this broken order block here. Then they sold, left another order block here. They didn't quite get into it. So I feel like this price can continuously drop all the way to 3070, or they will potentially retest into this area before they give us that same sell. So if they do retest, then I'll be looking for sales from uh, this last order block broken on H1, targeting 3070. So that's it for C1, just keeping it simple on this one. Then uh, C1000 has been strongly bullish. So you can see where we tried to sell it here. Uh, we failed here. Uh, it also didn't get to where I thought it would get to. This was yesterday setup ended up uh, taking us out here. Then today, I think we spoke about it when it was here. They failed to break here. They failed to break here. It's strongly bullish. So the only reason we'll sell is if we happen to get a setup. But otherwise, we are strongly bullish. At the same time, we might also react in this area here so let me remove this one and remove this one okay point of interest if price gets to 6150 that's a potential sell limit zone which is the red line, but at the same time, they might give a minor sell right here where we are. So we are going to need to see a pattern first though before we sell, but at the same time, we should know this price is strongly bullish. So we don't want to trade against the train, but again, at some point we'll get those intraday reversals. The only thing you'll see is on the past few days, uh, the intraday reversals haven't been really big, just been tiny moves. So we'll see what they do today. If only if we catch it like at the top, that's when we can sell it maybe for 20, 30 pips. But if we if we don't catch it at the top, there won't be any entries there. So C500 again, I'm stalking on this one. I'm still waiting for them to break uh, an area for me to know that the sale the sales are safe. For now, we can see we've been bullish, we broke. An order block retested continue to push up broke this structure uh, so we're slowly pushing up unless we do this then we might get a sell but for now i feel like c1 is also bullish you can also see from the daily it could be um a multi this is december this is january this is feb so this could be like a multi month pattern forming for a long term a buy that's possible but if we do get some sales uh like intraday reversals we'll still execute so for today i would say i'm just looking to see if price will break below the zone uh to give us a possible trade uh yesterday I'm not sure if we were active on this but also you can see price didn't really come down it's because we are in a bullish uh, trend. That's why we're not keep getting any bigger sales. So just going to leave this one H1. Uh, point of interest for now with the current pattern will be 33. Uh, let's see how 33.90 is looking like. Um, yeah, if we were to close below 33.90, I'll consider sales. That's only valid uh, as long as this high is not taken out. As soon as they take out this high, this will be invalid. So that's my view for C5. Also bullish for now. B5. B5 yesterday, 
I noticed they eventually bought on uh, the setup we wanted. I remember we took buys somewhere in here, if I'm not mistaken. Then the price came and took us out. Then if you notice, they still came closed above our safe entry. This was the safe entry buy area. So we needed a close above in the retest. It eventually happened, but we had got in a bit early. So price ended up taking us out. Uh, it was also marked from this particular peak and this water block here. So it was just a continuous pattern and we got in at the wrong time. So we either we could have entered here or we could have waited for price to first push above the safe entry uh, zone, then take the retest. And it was also a flip zone here from the previous day's high. So today seems like we are bearish for now. Each one also looks like it's bearish because the peak with broken structures. So it looks like we are bearish on uh on on H1. So from this peak, let's see. Okay, so let me just quickly mark this uh chart before I clear it out. Okay, so if you notice also the day before yesterday, B1 almost had the same pattern. They created a peak, came up equal highs, broke a structure, came back, uh, extended to take out stop losses here. Then they pushed up again, retesting the previous day's high. So yesterday again, they also retested this day's high with this pattern here. So today looks like they are very, so let me take a screenshot of this okay i'm going to quickly save it Okay, done. All right, so today we're playing around the previous day's lows. We've broken quite a couple of structures there. Daily looks like it's reversing as well. It's on its way to the 13 EMA where it's going to be met by this uh, daily demand zone. So around the Dayton EMA area, that's where we'll start to look maybe for a possible buy. Possible buy around this area here. So that'll be around 49.30. Around 49.30 area. If you also look to your left, you see there's a zone which was not retested there. So anyway, from 49.45 to 49.30, 49.45 to 49.25. Let's say 25. So there's a 20 pip range here where we expect to get a pattern if we are to buy. But at the same time, remember, we've set a peak, broken structures, and intraday we look to be bearish. Broken yesterday's uh, low. So if you break these lows again, uh, this price could actually be in a bearish flow. So we'll only be buying the retracement back up before price continues continues down. But if the level holds, then we'll be buying uh, a continuation of the buys which were happening previously. So that will be the point of interest. The B1 already broke the safe entry zone. Uh, when we were speaking earlier, I'm not sure if I mentioned this zone around 43, around 14.355 or 14.353, around that area. We've already broken it, uh, retested it, and we're continuing up. So this was a miss. Uh, load shading really killing us there. So if you notice from the M15 again, 
from this peak on the bottom here, we had <clears throat> this order block, which was broken here. So this was the first pattern to actually uh, buy this trade. This was one good setup, which we missed. So from here, we could have bought it at the break of that order block. And uh, this particular one didn't retest. Usually they will push up then they will retest maybe twice, then continue pushing up. But this particular one with acceleration and uh, let's put Let me see, I think there's a YouTube video, okay. All right, sorry about that. I think there was a YouTube video playing there. All right, so today they just accelerated. This was the H1 safe entry area, which they just broke, continued to push. So I don't think I've got any entry for now because two things can happen or even three things. They can still come back down to this level, which was broken. They can come back to this water block. They can come back to this uh, demand zone. They can come back to this broken H1 zone. They can come to this. There's many areas where they can return to. So for today, I don't think I'll trade B1 unless I see something solid on any of these zones which I've mentioned. So I think that's it. This was the only high probability setup, which was the... And we missed it because of this uh, load shedding. But anyways, going to J10. J10 has been bullish from yesterday, just looking at the intraday uh, price movement. So here, I also want to pay attention if they are bouncing off this area. Right, so if we get price coming below this red line, which I've just put on... 85322. If we break below 85322, then that will be a safe sell area. So I'm looking for something like this for price to continue coming down. At the same time, I want to pay attention to this peak now where price broke. Uh, these levels and pushed up. So price can still come and bounce here and continue pushing up. But short term, I'll be looking for a sell there. Uh, at the same time, price can still continue pushing up. So this one, we just keep an eye as they can also go sideways. So looking at this current price action, we see the 50 EMA is in the middle of the price. So this area here could be a range where price can just play in before they either break out to the downside or break out to the top side. So nothing high probability today on jump 10, but I'll just keep uh, tabs on it just to see how it plays out. V2501S, I wanted sales yesterday. I was looking at it. I was looking at this zone here. I was looking at it like this. And I wanted a continuation. I think I scalped a short term sell. Then I realized later price took me out. It came above this zone. So now the price delivery is bullish, as you can see. So from what I've marked, I've got a demand zone here where we can potentially buy from. And I've got an H1 uh, order block uh, based off this low here or this low here. So if price comes to retest, we can look for a potential continuation to the upside. So here I feel like they will take out this liquidity and come down either to our safe entry or to the demand zone before they continue up to the 800 EMA as the take profit. So that's my current view for V250. So C1, patiently waiting for it. C5 patiently waiting. They are both bullish, but we're just anticipating intraday sales. B5 has been strongly pushing down. If they get to these lows, maybe we'll get a setup. B1 has already left us. I don't think we'll get an entry. So that's it for today. We might not actually trade because there's nothing high probability for now. So if nothing shows us anything, we with um High potential of paying out, we won't trade, we'll simply trade tomorrow.
But if I see something else, I'll let you know uh, either on WhatsApp or I'll post in the Telegram group. So for now, I think that's it. One other thing, I think I was I'll switch to swinging because if you notice this trade, bro, we started looking at it here. I remember when price was pushing down to this area and we had this area in mind, knowing that eventually price would get there. So all we needed was a good entry and hold uh, until price got here. So for swing traders, this was a good trade. Hopefully somebody caught a swing trade because we've been talking about this for a long time so hopefully we'll switch to swing trading soon because there's much money to be made and uh, all you have to do if we're swing swinging is to just monitor the trade you don't really have to stre stress much about entries so oh, let's see how c1000 closes you can see they just tapped into a zone right there M15 early entry here. Maybe we might get a sell. A sell at current market price. Uh, two things can happen here. Uh, okay, let's enter one sell position. Though it's a short term trade, we're going to enter one runner here based on price action. We are reacting from a higher time frame zone. That's the, one of the reasons why I'm opening one cell position. We are reacting from a higher time frame zone. Stop loss goes above the last candle, slightly above, because what they can do is they might throw a green candle here. Then the next candle is the one which will start pushing down. But once we come down here, I'm looking for a short, short term sell back into this four hour zone here so this is a short term trade uh it's a quick scalp let's see if it plays out 61 71 81 it will almost be a 20 pip stop loss on this particular runner so 20 pip stop loss Yeah, we can get a movement here. We can get a trade here. If we are lucky, we might get 40 pips. So I'm looking forward to get 20 to 40 pips. Yeah, so one position for now. If we close below the order block, uh, looks like we're actually selling. So I'm going to scale in one more position. So we have two positions running on C1000. And uh, we are aiming for 20 to 40 pips. 20 pips will be around 60, 43. That's where we can scale out at 60, 43. Then price can get to 60, 23. Okay, we're going to scale out to 6043. Price can potentially get to 6023. Stop loss will be 60. 6079 for a stop loss. TP1, TP2. So this is also a short term trade. We're trading against the trend. So we also don't want to hold much. If we see price coming against us, we just hold. Yeah. 
Okay, if we see price coming against us, then we can quickly cut loss and look at something else. So for now, that's our current. That's the only trade I have at the moment. C5 will have to keep stoking on it because for now it looks like it's really uh, bullish. Uh, let's see where they can they could get into this area of supply here potentially it can come all the way up to 3470. So for now it's bullish. We don't want to really uh, waste capital trading C5. So C1, let's see how the this short term trade plays out. Either they pay us or they will go to the stop loss. So we also want to monitor how they act around uh, the, the equal high area as well because they can still come up here then do this that's also a possible place so i think that's it for today i don't have anything else i don't have anything else here j10 really looks like they want to continue pushing down here but we'll wait for a safe sell again like i said and pay attention to this area as well so that's it for today uh, any other signals will be shared on the Telegram group. Uh, results for this particular trade will also be shared on Telegram. Uh, thank you so much for joining. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to comment, like, and share, and subscribe. Good trading.